This is Yorktown Memorial Hospital. It opened in the 50s and closed in the 80s. And even though it was only open for a short period of time, it's seen over 2,000 deaths. This abandoned hospital has its fair share of paranormal activity, ranging from shadow figures, hearing disembodied voices, and even seeing red glowing eyes in the hallways. I've investigated a lot of places, but I was not ready for what happened to us on the second floor of this hospital. Can you come out of the room here and hold my hand? extremely haunted location. And of course, I brought Joey with me. She will be the ghost bait for tonight. And all of the links will be down in the description to her channel. I always feel awkward in these parts. It's like, what do I do? Do I wave? Do I yeah, say hello? Like, do I, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So go check out our channel, guys. It's down below. All right, let's explore. Let's explore. What the fuck kind of door is that? That's like something where you lock somebody in for like solitary confinement. If this starts rolling down the hall in the middle of the night. I hear talking. Like a kid. You heard that? Yeah, that's where I think I heard the hollering. There's a window that could be. You can hear it too. Oh, that's outside? Yeah. Yeah, it's outside. This is creepy in here. Yep. It's like a... Where is that coming? Did you hear that? Yeah, it's like an alarm. It's in that room next door. Right here. No, it was down there now. Do you hear it? It sounded like squeaky, like a squeaky wheelchair, like, or like a gurney rolling down the hall. Yeah, for sure. I hear it. And down there too. I can't move. I can show. <laughs> this room is. Is there a handle to get out? Yeah. What if we got locked in here for the rest of the night? <laughs> Ow, <I> can't. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. Looks like an old an adult reading in. What kind of cave is this? It's like a cell. Look at this. I don't know, it's like a, it looks like a jail cell. This is where the priest was in the basement, right? Yeah. Why do they need like a cell in a hospital? Cockroaches everywhere. Say hello, and that's why I said hello. Did you say hello? Uh -uh. That's disturbing. That's atrocious. Like a dumb waiter? Yeah. Get in. No, there's a dumb waiter up there. Is there? Yeah, if you look up there, be careful. You may end up like that 2020 meme. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Bang! Look at this room. Creepy it is in there. This seems to be a patient's actual room. And all these old wheelchairs kind of line the hallways. basement right now which is where the priest stayed um, the nuns of the hospital were on the second floor first floor was patients and down in the basement is where the priest stayed but I want to know why the priest had this um, dungeon contraption cage down here now I'm guessing maybe it's for patients that got out of hand but that's not like a normal solitary confinement that is something it's like a prison yeah I think so too. Look at this area. This must have been his quarters, the priest, where he slept. Oh god. I get a oh, really heavy vibe in here. I don't know why. Like I feel like it's hard to breathe. There, I heard something go back in the closet. The other voice is Joey. Is there somebody in here with me? gonna go get a spirit box and some headphones blindfold and do an Estes method um, down here and see if anything comes through. All right so we're back downstairs right behind me is that kind of like creepy cage what we're gonna do is an Estes method and for those of you that are unfamiliar um, it's almost like a way of communicating with spirits using the spirit box but in a way that is kind of like sensory deprivation. So you use the blindfold so that I cannot see what Joey's mouthing, what the, the question she's saying. I also have um, noise canceling headphones on, which is attached to the spirit box, which um, is a lot of loud white noise. She'll be asking questions. I cannot hear the question she's asking. I just say whatever comes through the spirit box and the objective is to try and find or to try to have answers come through that validate her questions in some way shape or form so once again i cannot hear what she's saying and we'll, we'll see if something comes through we had really good results when we did it at the mcintyre villa so we'll try again down here can you hear me all right i'm ready can you hear me Can you tell me your name? Hello? Can you say one of our names, please? Tell me your name. What did you use this cage for? Can you please talk? Can you touch Michael's back if you're here? Can you caress Michael's back? Oh. 
I'm gonna try a different. What is that? Let me eat. Oh, it's my necklace. I'm gonna try a different sweep rate because nothing was coming through at all. Did you feel something? Yeah. I told something to caress your back. Shut up. I'm not joking. That's why, like, I was feeling something. <laughs> I'm not joking. You can giggle again on the camera. Because I kept asking it to talk and it wasn't talking. And it I did, yeah, it, I didn't hear a single thing. But I felt something on my neck and I didn't know if it was a bug or like my necklace. Yeah, whatever. It must have listened that time. I'm gonna try to. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm creeped out to do it again. I'm gonna do um, a different sweep braid and see if it. Thank you for caressing Michael's back for me. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Can you tell me your name? Again? Yes, please. I didn't hear you. Tell me your name. Hi. Can you tell me who I'm talking to? Wait. Wait for what? What am I waiting for? Mike, I heard my name. Talk to Michael? Why? We're just curious what you have to say. What did you use this cage for? You might. Lover. I got her. That that creeped me out. The the way it like the way it came through and said it, it was like I got her. What did you say? I have chills up my body. I said, "What did you?" I said, "What did you use the cage for?" Lover, I, lover. And then I said, "What did you do to her?" And he's like, "I got her." I th that like I had to s I stopped the spear box because the way that the voice that came through it was like uh, you know like almost like somebody bragging or boasting like I got her like that I, I, I'm feeling a sensation up and down my body I feel like shorter breath I'm gonna turn it back on hold on okay I'm feeling a weird sensation all throughout my body like I'm getting weird sensations right I'm gonna try again, but if you need to stop me, just like tap me. <laughs> well, I mean, don't scare me. He, he was like, I was like, he was like, I said, we want to talk to you. I said, do you want to talk to Michael? And he said, why? That's why he said why. Really? Yeah. And I said, we're just curious. Okay. I'm ready. What was your lover's name? Can you tell me your lover's name? Fourth. Fourth. Blunt. Fourth or blunt, is that her name? I'm getting the chills for some reason. 
Are you... How many lovers did you keep in this cage? I can hear a female voice, but I can't make out what it's saying. I was. How many? How many were kept down here? Can you tell me a number? Stop. You want me to stop talking? What is, what is your name? Um, I feel like something's to the left of me and I can hear some words but they're going too quick that I can't make out what it's saying. We're having a difficult time talking to you. Can you try to talk clearer, please? Are you angry? Ouch. Are you sad? Stop. Do you want me to stop talking? Say yes or no. I feel like there's something on my leg. I'm not really hearing anything right now. Every time I kept asking questions about details, I said how many people were kept in there. He kept saying stop. Like every time I tried to ask more questions, they want me to stop talking. Oh, really? Apparently, yeah, because I was like, can I please ask you another question? I said, can you tell me yes or no? And then you didn't say anything. I kept feeling, it was weird because I kept feeling something to the left of me. And yeah. when I would look to the left, that's actually when I could hear more voices coming through. But they were so quick and faint that I couldn't hear what it was saying. Um, and a lot of it this time sounded like a female voice, but it was just like, I couldn't make out what she was saying. I feel like she may, she may be the one that was kept in there because I can't imagine anyone else would be trying to talk about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I said, what is your name? Well, what was the woman's name? And you said fourth and you said another word and I forgot what you said. Fourth something. I feel like the energy is shifting in this entire building. Like when we got here earlier today, I don't know, it didn't feel like this right now. Right now, I feel one, I feel, whoa. Oh my God, do not break on me. Do not break. I will cry. <laughs> I feel sad and I also feel like scared. And a little, just like anger. Right now we're in the, the creepy children's room and we're gonna try to get some interaction with, with Mr. Boo Bear in here. It detects um, electromagnetic fields. So if anything comes close to it, it should turn from green to red. So we'll give it a shot here. Why don't you come in here and play with the teddy bear that I set out? Can you touch his green tummy? Something's turning red inside of it, I think. Is it? Yeah, look. Hold on. Oh, it is. Very lightly. Yeah. Can you touch it more? Yeah, look. There you go. Thank you. Can you come touch his belly again? Should I turn off my light? Sure. Come touch his belly. When you touch his belly, there, it's lighting up. Yeah. 
Thank you. Do you like the bear? Definitely lighting up. Can you make it light up for a long time? Grab on and give that teddy bear a hug. Can you touch it again? We know you're here. You don't have to be afraid. You can play with it. Come touch it. There you go. Thank you. You can play with it. Do you like teddy bears? If you like teddy bears, give it a squeeze. Are you a little girl? If you're a little girl, can you make it turn red again? Or touch the bear? Can you touch the bear of your little girl? So that was really cool. I actually worked for a bit, um, touching the bear, lighting it up, letting us know that they're here. It looks kind of like it might have been a, a little girl, maybe around 10 years old that we were communicating with, but definitely lighting up the bear um, to make her presence known. That was really cool. I'm gonna try using the dowsing rods for a little bit, see if we can get some spirit communication that way. Currently, I am in the lobby area of the hospital, so we'll see what we get. If there are any spirits around me that want to communicate, you could do so by crossing the rods. Can you cross the rods for me? That was real quick. Thank you. Can you uncross them? It almost felt like somebody moving them. Can open them up all the way. Were you a patient here? Cross the rods if you were a patient. Very slowly that time. So you're a patient here. Can you uncross the rods again? Are you a child? Cross the rods if you're a child. Are you an adult? Cross the rods if you're an adult. Thank you. When I was doing the dancing rods, it felt like I heard something. Is there anyone back here? Ooh, a cool breeze right here. Which is really weird because this place has been hot all night. Joey! Yeah? Come feel this area right here. Does it feel cooler? Cause it's been hot in here the whole night and when I got like in this area here it just felt a lot cooler. I don't know if it's just me. It feels cooler for sure um because it's hot in there um yeah it's definitely really good and this is where I heard like that voice coming from when I was yeah it feels cool right now 
feels cooler and cooler. Yeah. And cooler. Cooler. It does feel like it's getting cooler. Is that all that scared me? That was you. <laughs> it does feel like it's getting cooler down here. I wonder why one wing would be cooler than the rest. If there's somebody down here, you need to make yourself known. Can you make some footsteps for me? Or can you say hello? Come on, move a chair, move a door. Do something, make a loud bang. We want to know that you're here. Can you move something, please? We're going to go upstairs, which is where the nuns' quarters were, and we're going to try using some apps up there. We're going to use Amy's Crips app, her and her husband developed and um, maybe the Necrophonic app as well. Where's the stairs? That away? Yeah. It's creepy up here. All right, so we're gonna run two different apps at the same time. Joey on her phone is going to run um, Amy's Crips app. Uh, it's like an SLS. And I'm going to run the Necrophonic app on my phone. Is there anybody around us that wants to communicate? Just a little kid, you hear? Yeah. Is there, a, is there a child up here? No. It sounds like a lot of spirit. About 2,000. Please what? Leave? I heard please and then leave. Can you show yourself at the end of the hallway? Show yourself at the end of the hallway. Can you walk towards us? My name is Michael and this is Joey. Can you say our name? Don't worry. Don't worry. 
like I heard leave again. We're not leaving until you show yourself. If you want to leave, if you want us to leave, then walk down the hallway. So let me know when I'm like clear and that's the last. Okay. I can see, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Can you come out of the room here and hold my hand? I heard something behind you. Yeah, I heard it too. What was that? What is that? Hello? But they can't. There's no way up here from this area. There's no one outside. But there's stairs here. Okay, so the second floor is the active floor. Who's up here with us? Since it's at that end, let's try it again. I'll go down there and ask if it'll hold my hand. Okay. Um, sure. You're like, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? That sound is like the sound of it trying to pick up something. Okay, that's good. So funny, I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Can you come out of the room next to me and hold my hand? Can you come hold my hand? I won't hurt you. Can you please hold Michael's hand? if you communicate with us just a little bit more. What about, are you in this room? Either, either one, come hold my hand. There wasn't a, there wasn't a car when I went out there before, why did you turn the cars out there? Yeah, look again. I'm warm, as you can see by the sweat coming <laughs> off of my face and how red I am. Really weird activity up here. This is the first, like, really good activity that we've gotten tonight, so that's really exciting. It was the first point in the night where I was, like, really just kind of 
shaken and like I don't know what we were hearing but we were hearing something at the end of the hallway and every time that I looked there was nothing there no cars I don't get it all right so we're gonna try one more thing um, we're gonna go back downstairs and um, go to that area with the cage and um, use the necrophonic app down there to communicate and the um, ghost the ghost tube app as well so let's head downstairs and do one final thing for tonight all right Necrophonic app. Let's. That one. Negative. It's so dramatic. <laughs> who's down in here? Who's down here with us? Is your name Jane? Yeah. Yeah. Alice? I heard Alice too. It, okay, I'm pausing for a second because I'm getting goosebumps and it's freaking me out because I feel like it's saying a bunch of names and like there's 2,000 people that passed away in this hospital, and I asked, what your name? I keep, sorry, I keep looking behind me because I keep feeling like a, like a presence there. But yeah. I asked, what's your name? And a whole bunch of people start saying their names. Like, that's just, it's weird, right? Yeah, it is. You're too tall. <laughs> just look at my tits. <laughs> What happened down here? Somebody died down here? All right, you guys, we're done for tonight, wrapping up. Um, I think maybe we ended up getting more than I thought we would. It was kind of a slow start, and then a lot just started happening upstairs and downstairs, and plus the SS method, so I think we got some cool stuff. Um, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe. Go to Joey's channel, subscribe to her too, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.